Hey everyone, today we are decorating a super eclectic and weird build in Oasis Springs for my engineer sim in my Oasis Springs rotation. So uh, this is a house that I kind of pre-built before I started doing the recording because I was using debug for the first time and I did not want people to have to watch me fumble around with it and something that I hadn't used before and I'm sure that it would have been thrilling content, but I decided to, you know, take one for the team and not make you watch that, which really is just, you know, an amazing thing of me to do. Very charitable. I think that I did the right thing there, and I'm sure that you would agree. So this house is for my engineer sim, whose name is Jack Jarvis. Jack is a witch. She is a lovely little clumsy goofball spellcaster. Uh, she is a popularity sim, so she is going to be chatting up a lot of people. And I think that she's just really kind of cute and quirky and a lot of fun to play and I popped her in just for screenshots and she was like falling all over the place because she is clumsy and as the engineer sim being that clumsy I thought that was pretty hilarious because she was um, she's obviously going to be using woodworking and stuff like that a lot and if she's using woodworking and she's clumsy I imagine that she is going to get a lot of black thumbnails like she is going to hammer her fingers so many times. So as the engineer, obviously her specialty is going to be the robotic skill, but she is also, um, her hobby is actually fabricating as well. It just randomly rolled as that for me. So she is going to be fabricating her little butt off. And I imagine that eventually she's going to want to replace a lot of her furniture with fabricated furniture. But for now, I chose this very eclectic mash, mishmash of things because I imagine that this house is something that she cobbled together herself. Maybe she redid an existing house and it was a complete wreck. She had to tear it down to the studs and built it herself. And I imagine that she was able to get a lot of this terracotta tiles from, you know, just the neighborhood houses or the existing house if that was the case and she stole these warehouse windows or <laughs> took them from a warehouse or whatever like that and that is how she just sort of cobbled this house together it is a frankenstein of a house and i just like that for her so i obviously have her living on a gas station this is the slipshod mesquite junkyard and I took out the hue because I couldn't fit in Slipshot Mesquite. But I do like to keep the base game, the existing Maxis names on lots so that I can tell what I'm placing where. So this is the Slipshot Mesquite Junkyard and that's where she lives. She is, um, I really wish that you could do fixer upper cars so much. So obviously I stuck a whole bunch of these around the gas station and just sort of fit in her skill objects in around them, but it was just such a pain that she can't have fixer upper cars. Like I want her to be like, I, even though she's a witch, I imagine her as being like a gremlin and in my mind, gremlins our mechanics like as a fantasy race i know that makes no sense but i think the gremlins are mechanics okay that's just how it works in my brain and i think of her as a little tiny gremlin kind of deal and just if she had a car i'd be happy that's all i'm saying just give me a fixer upper car ea that's all i want of life i guess i want a few more things besides that but fixer upper cars would go a long way with me that's that's all i'm saying it's all they had them in the sims too okay I'm, I'm shutting up now i'm just i'm just i'm just gonna shut up so i um uh, let me talk about the build i guess i should do that thing i am working on the kitchen right now in the video and i was having a lot of trouble with the layout here i cut out some of it as i was going back and forth and trying to figure out how i wanted to do things i had really wanted to just have this big open space because i feel that that is really indicative of southern builds to have a lot of open space for airflow but instead i worked in these arches 
to uh, because I wanted the walls to sort of divide up the space a little and not make it less hard to decorate because I was having such a hard time with the, the living room area and then I used the arches and so the arch shape is indicative of mission style houses and Spanish influences so I thought that that kind of worked and maybe that's one of the sort of found elements that she got from the house existing before she put in her own modern touches and all of her eclectic found furniture and she is a quirky one. Of course, I think all of my Sims are super quirky because that is just what I do. I like individual Sims that are very weird and strange and their own people because Sims are people. Oh, I love putting this in builds. It is like the little closet area under the stairs. Sims can't really access it, but it is the best place to shove crap you don't want to look at, like that attic stack decoration box. Sometimes I'll put it in the peak area of a gabled roof, which is also not accessible, but because it's live draggable, it's not really important that your Sim be able to access it as long as you as a player can get to it. And then I always know where the attic stack decoration box is in my builds because it is always either in the roof or shoved underneath the stairs, like Harry Potter. So I am doing the curtains now, and I like those yellow curtains in the dark blue room. I think it was a bold choice. Her fashion sense is, I imagine, just like, not even her fashion sense. Her favorite color is actually white, believe it or not. She's kind of like casual, basic. She's the grease monkey type that just throws on a pair of jeans that are all torn up and grease stained and a white shirt. If she was in Greece, she would be working on the cars. You know what I mean. She's the, the, oh my God, I want to say Danny DeVito. It's John Travolta. Oh my God. Danny DeVito and John Travolta are very different people. Okay. Okay. Oh better get over that. So her kitchen is obviously this super bright yellow as well. And I think, did I choose? Yeah, I was trying to go for a more modern vibe in her kitchen because I think that she is, um, her own taste is probably more modern than the actual build is because her build is this a lot of different things from different er eras because it's supposed to be like found furniture but and her, I wanted her kitchen to have a more modern feel to it, like maybe, and maybe like she put this terrible garish yellow paint on everything. I actually really like the yellow and gray kitchen. I think it's nice, but um, yeah, she, so that is what I thought should happen for her because she is, oh, and that painting worked so well to tie in those colors. I couldn't resist, even though it kind of clashed with the original red uh, accent in the windows. I tried to fix it. I am upstairs now with the bedroom. I end up changing the layout a little bit because I, it, I had some issues with it. Let's just say that you will see soon enough that I had issues and my issues had issues. And anyway, so yeah, her interior decorating sense is a little wacky. Let's just say that. So even though her personal style is, you know, kind of basic, she is into bright colors in her interiors. She just, if she picks something up, she's like, yeah, let's use this super weird thing as long as we use it in the brightest, weirdest color possible. And I'm doing a lot of that with these Always the Springs builds. I think that having a lot of different colors here, I don't know why, I just think it makes sense. I don't know if that is like one of the things that I associate with the desert for some reason, like a lot of bright colors, reds, yellows, blues. I think that that is me thinking about um, Mexican styles and cultures and fashions and that kind of thing. I believe that some of the traditional dress is in really bright colors, but please don't quote me on that. I have not researched this. I don't want to be saying the wrong thing. I just, I think so. I am not very up on Southern American cultures and that kind of thing um, because I focused my almost a dual major in history with me, but um, I focused my history studies on Europe and East Asia, so I don't know a ton about my own country and continent and so on and so forth. I like to ignore the United States and pretend that the history does not exist. It does not exist to me because it is generally awful and depressing, and at least in European history, I can imagine that there are dragons. 
just let me have this. Don't say a word. Just let me have this in Europe. There are dragons and they're everywhere and they're sleeping underneath the hills in Ireland and it's fine. Okay, let me have this. Yeah, so I'm having a lot of travel with this upstairs layout. As you can see, I took it down to the studs and I was trying to figure out how to make it work. Because Jack is going to have a robotic store to sell all of her creations that cr she creates in the junkyard, she needed to have a house that was big enough for a family to grow. So she needed to have multiple bedrooms and enough space to expand if she wanted to. And yeah, so I stuck her in this really big lot at the edge of the uh, Bedrock Streets District because I wanted her to have the desert environment. And I kind of dislike how so much of Oasis Springs is not desert. And I know that that's weird, but a lot of the areas are gated communities with fake grass or imported grass. They probably use sprinklers a lot. And you know in these desert areas there is a ton of there's a ton of water shortage because they have to pipe in the water over these super long pipelines and it's not native to have water in these areas. Anyway, I, I just object morally to the grass in the different areas in Oasis Springs and I would like more desert, please. More desert, more beautiful variations of sand, it's similar to how the Inuit people have a thousand and one words for snow, I would like to have many shades of desert in The Sims 4. Strange Town was always my favorite neighborhood in The Sims 2, and The Sims 4 deserves to have an awesome desert environment. I believe, am I fixing the roofing? Yeah, and then I am going to be going to the backyard landscaping? No, the front yard first and then the backyard. So I did a lot of this landscaping already and you're getting a really good look now on all of the weird mishmashed uh, colors and materials that she was using for building this house on the outside and those gorgeous Moschino stuff windows in the back. And yes, I finally did manage to say Moschino correctly. I just, I want it to be a Moschino. I'm sorry. It, Whenever I say Moschino, I think of mosquitoes and just a little, why can't it be Moschino? Are we sure it's not? Anyway, I was doing the pool in the back in the murky color because I imagine that I don't think she's the kind of person that would have a clean pool. And I know that that's a weird thing to say about somebody, but I think she would have a gross grungy pool. And I think that she would have like, I guess, algae in it. And like, it's not the kind of place that you would like, maybe want to swim, but she's a gremlin, aka a witch, and she would totally be into the grunge. I'm just going to say that every mechanic, there, there has to be some kind of thing like a mechanical witch. What can I have her learn? Reperio? Anyway, and that, that whatever witch specializes in that is going to be a gremlin. Like, it's fine. It's my own personal headcanon. Nobody judge me for it. I just, I like to think that there's different subsectors of the witches in the sims 4 and that they all have different specialties but it's really hard to get the books that you need to have them learn them in the tradition i'm gonna go on a spellcaster rant in the sims 4 now but i like my spellcasters to have specialties and then they will learn more spells in that area like i have sea witches sometimes that only learn uh, water related spells and that kind of thing. It's just, I like them to have specialties and a little bit of limitations to what they can do because the spellcasters are a little overpowered if you don't try to limit them a little bit. Though obviously I, because of my lifespan and aging, it is hard to do it that way. So we are in the screenshots now and I hope that you really like this build and my insane commentary as I, as I was decorating this awesome eclectic vibe. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day. Bye!